ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Freddy Starr! When I say Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I fell off. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you now. <laughs> I'd like to...
I've just written a Shelley. Yes. Um, Shelley. I've just written a song for you and me. Just now. No. Really? Yeah. What's and it pardon? What's it called? Called. <laughs> it's it's called. <laughs> Don't take the Mickey out of my world, Jack. I wouldn't do that now, would I? <laughs> No, you see, I've written a song, right? Especially 
Are you, you and me? Okay, you and me. And me. Could I have a stool? Could I have a stool, please? help you sit down. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this... I must ex... I must... Oh, I've, I've dropped the mic. This is... This is... This is a song, ladies and gentlemen, that is about two people very much in love. And, uh... And this song, ladies and gentlemen, the words explain themselves. Le jeu de la ronde, le jeu de la ronde, Wally. Le jeu de tu, le col de Jérôme. Elaine Page, lovely lady, very talented, and little Tugger there. You know the dog's never been right since. He's been to the dog psychiatrist. He's... Has he really? Yeah, but you, I must make this quite clear to the viewers. Freddie's an animal lover and he's got lots of animals in the house. You, you're really very fond of animals, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, uh, there's some animals that are daft, though. You know, I mean, a dog, it costs you £500 a year to feed them. In my day, they had scraps. That's all they had. They'd sit on the table like that. 
and you've got scrap. <laughs> scraps, and you go, <laughs> and if you try to take the bone off, you go, <laughs> with bite your hand off. <laughs> but these days they've got rabbit, chicken, turkey, you know. But you see, horses have got round bums. <laughs> and dogs have got round bums. Cats are stupid. You say to a dog, there's you say to a dog. <laughs> you say to a dog. Yeah, boy. And it'll come running to you and sit by you and look at you and lick your hand. You know? And look at you and How'd you go? With a cat you go. It was and it goes, shut up. <laughs> and cats have always got square bums. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, because I was getting kicked. <laughs> at 12 o'clock at night, the cat has got to go out. I see. Boom. <laughs> and it goes, And why is it when you're driving down the road in your car, a cat always thinks it's quicker than a motor car? <laughs> you can actually see the accident going to happen. And there's two cats on the road, and they must have a conversation. They must say to each other, What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> Here's some headlights. <laughs> And they wait. <laughs> and I knocked on this woman's door, said, I've just run over your cat. She said, What did it look like? I went. <laughs> We're caught in a trap. And can't walk out. Because I love you too much, baby Why can't you see What you're doing to me When you don't believe a word I say We can't go on together With suspicion as mine Suspicious minds All that our love survives I'll dry the tears from your eyes Don't let a good thing die You know, honey I'll never lie to you I can't walk out Because I love you too much, baby Well, don't you know We're caught in a trap I can't walk out
Sorry? <laughs> yes, my darling. Yes, love. Yeah? Really? <laughs> Chips. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing a show. <laughs> Sweetheart, do I can't say that on the phone in front of all this. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Topsy bopsy lopsy. <laughs> Bye, Steve. Put one in the trap. I can't walk out. Because I love you too much, baby. There's a series on television now called, uh, well, it's about the American Civil War, right? And I want to ask you your observations of what you think about it. You know, the American Civil War? Yeah. Well, it, it was brother fighting against brother, sister against sister, father against father, mum against mum, <laughs> dog against dog. <laughs> and this young boy, He's plowing the field in, with his horse. A fella comes across the field on this pogo stick. <laughs> and he gives him an envelope, which is his calling up papers. And he opens the envelope and he goes, hello. And he goes, hello. That was me. <laughs> hello. Hello. It's me. So. <laughs> so, anyway, he goes back to his mother, who lives in this little log cabin miles from nowhere. You know. And he goes back to me and says, Man, I gotta go now fight my kids because you don't know what I'm gonna do, say. <laughs> <laughs> you can't speak fluent American, can you? No. no. <laughs> well, what he said was, Mother, I have to go away now and fight my country. Where's my rifle and my gun? <laughs> and she said, It's over there. <laughs> <laughs> so he got the gun on his back, yeah. right? And he jumped on his pig. Pig? pig. <laughs> they had no horses. I'm not making this up. No, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that, friend. And he rode away. Yeah, on a pig. On a pig. <laughs> he got caught because the pig squealed on him. <laughs> 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 So his mum shouts to him, Bye, son. What's she calling? Bye, son. Oh, I Bye, she son. Him something. Pardon? I thought she called him something. No. She went, <laughs> <laughs> she went, Bye, son. And he went, Bye, mom. Because he's in the distance, you see. Yes. And she shouts, Bye, son, be careful. And he shouts, I will, mom. Because he's further away now. <laughs> Further. He's further away Much now. Further. And she said, because he's further away, she, she says, What? <laughs> so he goes, Well, it's all the way back. On the pig. On the pig. Still on a pig. On a pig. <laughs> she says to him, What did you say? You were too far away. What did you say? He said, Bye, Mum! <laughs> anyway, this boy goes away, fights for his country. He's been missing home for 10 years. And his mother's getting worried because he hasn't come back from the wars. <laughs> hasn't come back from the wars. Till one day, as she looks over that big golden horizon, cue. <laughs> she sees this dusty grey figure coming towards her, limping and carrying a crutch. <laughs> she says, She says, 
It's my son. He's coming home. After ten years, he's coming back to his mama. It's my son. Thank you, Lord, for bringing my son home. Thank you, Lord. It's my boy. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's not him. <laughs> That's all we've got after this week. We'll see you next week, let's get it. Hello. I'm Frankie Frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> And I've come here tonight with my, my new singing group. And it's been my pleasure for the last eight years. <laughs> they say you go blind, but... <laughs> I'll risk one eye. Anyway. <laughs> and I'd like to introduce now a mixed choir of dress designers. <laughs> ladies hairdressers. And of course, a toilet attendant. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight we're, we're going to do some <laughs> musical gems from our new LP. Uh, it's just recorded on her master's voice. <laughs> and we have such wonderful golden oldies, such as um, Give Me Some Men Who Are Stout-Hearted Men, and uh, <laughs> Poof, The Magic Drags On, <laughs> and of course my own favourite, A Gordon For Me. <laughs> right, men, after four. <clears throat> four! Follow, follow, follow the many, many pipes of pan In places gay we work all day, so catch us if you can oh, oh, oh. We rinse your locks and make your frocks like any working man And then we frolic every night Ooh, <laughs> The many, many, many pipes of pan I went down south to see my friend. Singy Polly Wally Doodle all the day. He works on the council in South End. Singy Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Very well, very well, very well, very well, very well, my very friends. Because I'm going to spend the summer with an Edinburgh plumber. Singy Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Bobby Shafto's gone to sea. Hello, sailor, are you free? There's a toast of the Queen's Navy. Bona Bobby Shafto. <laughs> John Brown's body's on the front of male physique. That's a magazine that comes out every week. When I see his hairy chest, I've simply got to shriek, cause I help him stick it on. <laughs>
Chiku, 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 chiku. Would you like to have a look? <laughs> Naughty boy. 
Would you like a suck of the lolly? Pardon? Would you like a suck of this lolly? Well, put that away. Would you like to go walkies? Pardon? Would you like go walkies? <laughs> Would you like to get out of your pram? Feet up. Tippies. Elvis is a very famous singer. He dances, sings, and moves his feet around. Now behave yourself. It's too far to show. It's free to get ready now. Go get no door. Stamp on my blue suede shoe dog. You can do how cleverly hop on my blue suede shoe. You can knock me down, stand on my face, slander my name all over the place. You're doing the things you wanna do, but I'm uh, honing it hard on my shoes and all you. Some of my red suede shoes He can do it with a play But lay off of my red suede shoes Well, it's blue, blue, the blue suede shoes Good evening, ladies and gentlemen Ladies and gentlemen 
Myself and my penis now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We would like now, shut up, to do an opera in C minor, ninth movement. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the opera. Thank you. Today I went, I went, today, today, today I went. <laughs> I went to the butchers. <laughs> to the butchers. <laughs> I went to the butchers to buy some bacon. I said to the lady behind the counter, do you sell bacon? She said, lean back. <laughs> I said, do you sell any bacon? <laughs> she says, we have not got any here. But we have some sausages. I said, give me 12 pounds of sausages. But I had no bags to put the sausages in. So I shoved the sausages down my shirt. <laughs> then I got on a bus to go home. Then this lady got on the bus and sat down opposite me. She looked at me. <laughs> I looked at her. <laughs> We simply did not have a car <laughs> Until the bus went over some cobble <laughs> And all these sausages were shaking up and down And one of these sausages flopped out <laughs> It was swinging to a floor up and down <laughs> So I got my pen knife out. <laughs> and cut it off. <laughs> and she fainted. A bit further on, another sausage popped out. So I got my pen knife out and cut that off. Then I fainted. <laughs> Mike stand. What? Um, it's fancy sing song. Go on then. Take this up. This up. I want to get the mic stand from underneath. Thank you.
Could you lift it up, lift it up please? Thank you. My first illusion, a penetration. Pardon? <laughs> a penetration. What do you mean? An electric drill through my arm. You're fucking mental. I've just seen the ring on the, on the finger here. Move. Pardon? Move! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, an electric drill through my arm. No, 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 please, no. You have all blood all over the stage. The, the people will faint. <laughs> ah, me tit. I do not make mistakes. Don't you? I am the great gobbler. <laughs> Tell me something. Do you swallow? <laughs> I mean, swords, you know, and things like that. I mean... You know. And that is my assistant, Deep Throat. What? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, an electric drill. I've been there, son. An electric drill through my arm. Fucking man, what? You stupid man. Don't, no, no, don't do that. Don't, no, don't. Don't do that. That's good, that. Leave. Uh, pardon? Leave. Oh, God, oh, come on. Leave the stage. What, do you, you mean you want me to, um, go? Enough, 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 enough! <laughs> do you know, I didn't know you stuttered. <laughs> Leave the stage. You mean, fuck off? <laughs> go. Oh, yeah. Go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you threatening me? Yeah. Threatening me with that, are you? Go now. Fucking go, go on. Now. You fucking threaten me, pal. Go on. Go me. now. Yeah? Go now. You yeah, go now. <laughs> go on. I'm fucking getting there now, son. <laughs> yeah, just because you're in the magic circle. You think you're good, you magicians. <laughs> Don't touch the Black & Decker. I'll fucking touch right, it. If, right. if you touch it, I'll turn it on. Well, turn the fucking thing on. Right, <laughs> Take that. Take that. Fucking hell. Take <sighs> that. Go and relax. Yeah? Do whatever it is that keeps you calm. Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to attempt a world record. I have placed 20 glasses on the table. I shall add an extra four glasses. And I shall remove the tablecloth from under the glasses. Tell me, 
my final guest, except that he is one of the busiest and best-loved comedians and he packs out theatres and clubs wherever he goes. He quite simply is a comedy genius and I know all of this because he told me to say it all. And here he is, Mr. Freddie Starr. your fee for tonight, boy. I'm <coughs> having to fix that set. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Freddie. Hi, Gloria. How are you? Fine, thank you. This is a good conversation, isn't it, Freddie? Bet you don't come into Las Vegas like that when you go to entertain. Like what? <laughs> Bursting through the set like that. Did I? <laughs> Did you like being in Las Vegas recently? Yes, it was very nice. It was just charming. Charming? <laughs> <laughs> it was charming. Um, really charming. To be, to be in Las Vegas <laughs> was charming. Did Lord Engelbert then give you a few tips when you were there? Yes, he did, yes. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just wanted to. <laughs> and then I moved out, went. Was that more or less to celebrate, what, being in the business 25 or 26 years? Or yeah, something? yeah. That's right, yeah. <laughs> You don't look old enough to have been in the business that length of time, you know? Pardon? You don't look old enough. <laughs> don't look old enough. Oh, I can hear you now without the glasses. Sorry. <laughs> the glasses, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Double glazed head. <laughs> What would you like to talk about now, then? Would you like to talk about your book? Um, yeah, it, it, it's not written yet. <laughs> and, um, but are you a slow writer or something? No, I, I, I just can't write. <laughs> and, um, it's just that it's just a, 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 on its first draft at the moment. You know, like you've got to draft a book. You know, all about an open window. <laughs> and get a draft on it. And, <laughs> about this book, which is not yet written. When do you expect to write it, if you get the writing all joined up eventually? Um, we, we, we hope to finish it by the... Um, probably uh, spring of next year. <laughs> spring. <laughs> you know, the sheep are out. <laughs> can, I, can I sing you a, a song? I thought you would never ask. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. When I fall in love. 
It's begun And too many moonlight kisses Seem to cool In the warmth of the sun When I give my heart It will be completely It will take us the rest of the week to mend the set and to save up for another one. Ladies and gentlemen, a very big round of applause for Freddie Starr. I survived it!
because we have now on top of the pops it falls off Jim will fix it now how's about that then and as it happens because we have now on top of the pops we have a blast from the past and now Pete take that for a walk now guys and gals how's about that then for Mr Cliff Richard I got myself a quiet hand to sit there walking living down I got to do my best to please her just as she's living down Come and get it, it's Tom Jones! It's not unusual to be loved in a war. Excuse me, but you didn't see anything roll off the stage in here. All the girls go mad, ladies and gentlemen, for Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> and... <laughs> I can't understand that, because his name spelled backwards is Nicoleg Tremblebum. <laughs> of the match of the century between cup holders, the Kingstonians, and the renowned Shelby's Eleven. <laughs> of course, this had to be an all-ticket match, so we could be certain there would be no soccer violence on the terraces today. <laughs> the kickoff is being decided in that warm, friendly atmosphere so obvious here. A brief word of goodwill from Norman Wisdom, and play gets underway. Ray Charles playing as well as ever. You don't even see that <laughs> Great pass from Max Wall. This has got to bring Dracula into the game. <laughs> now he'll surely bring some bite into the play. Max <laughs> is hunting up now as Tarzan swings into action. <laughs> and I see Dracula is now leaping into the spirit of the game. Well, and there's Elvis, the always the defending from the head. <laughs>
is the obvious way to take it. This man is a standard goalkeeper all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Come on, baby. Let him take this. Let him take it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, baby. What you do, man? I do kick it. Oh, that's right. There we go. One more time. Yeah. <laughs> Just there. Okay. All right, boy. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Give me the king. Stone is going. A little drop there. Quasimodo is going for a really hard circle now, but the referee is also anxious to get into the game. I don't believe this. Where are the cameras? I think the score there is referee one. Quasimodo lost. <laughs> To introduce you to the one of the world's great international singers, ladies and gentlemen. A gentleman who is, without a doubt, one of the world's leading sex symbols when it comes to song. A man I know you're going to enjoy. A man who's got talent. A man who's got style. A man who's got personality. Thanks, Des. It's not, it's not you, Fred. That was good, though. Fred. That was good, though. That was very good, though. When you said that introduction, that, that was good, that was Freddy, good. it's not you. What is it? That introduction's not for you, it's for him. Who's him? Him, one of the world's great entertainers. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Him! Ooh, 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 ooh. 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 Tom Jones, that's who. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. When I think. Yes, thank God. When I think of all the great stars that queue up. Ooh, ooh, go on, ooh, ooh. Queue up to get on this show. Ooh. People like Gene Pitney. Gene Pitney. Gene Pitney. <laughs> I'll give you 10 seconds to Whoa. get ready. I saw you do something on a Royal Command performance, and I must admit, it was funny. I'll give you 10 seconds. I'm going to count 10. You get 10 seconds to get ready to do Mick Jagger. And if you're back here, in 10 seconds, you can do it. I'm starting counting now. One, you've got everything you need.
Bye.